Hi guys, welcome to Turkish Lessons. My name is Yasin Turak. Yasin Turak. Today I'm gonna help you guys to learn how we make sentences in Turkish. In Turkish, we say for this title, in Turkçe de cümleler nasıl yapılır? Part one, birinci bölüm. All right. Now let's see that how we make sentences in Turkish. I want to give you two examples, one in English and one another one is in Turkish. As you see, for simple sentences which uh, which uh, which we make with uh, uh, subject pronouns and action verbs, it's the same function, you know, in Turkish. It works same way. So, for example, subject pronoun, that means who does this action in the action name, do what. For example, I work. I means who, who does this, I, and what do you do? I work. So this is the action name. In Turkish, this format works same way. So that means ban çalışırım. Depends on the tense form here, which is present simple tense. That's why I put here I, R, I, am, which is çalışırım. Okay, so ban çalışırım in, in English means I work. As you see here, ban, uh, subject pronoun, comes first after that action verb comes so okay in English same way this is a simple part but let's get to the next part how we make sentences in in, in Turkish I work at a company as you see here at a, that is a proposition a is the you know article and the company is a noun form so in English it comes first as uh, subject pronoun then uh, action verb then proposition then article then noun but how we make this in Turkish? As you see here, I put, just put here numbers. One, two, three. So in one, as you see here in English form, personal pronoun and after a verb comes together. The second one, which is green, as you see here, we put here at, which is a proposition. And after that, location, place, where. So we put number three here. But in Turkish, it is quite different. So we put we first as you put as you see here in number three comes first which is in English you know form like this so number one here is location okay guys location as you see here at a company a company a company bir şirket bir şirket after we put te te which is a preposition the show this te shows the at you know where the question form in English is where in Turkish we use te okay guys so be shikete means in English at a company or in a company we use here so the last part here as you see in kind of um, purple color çalışırım çalışırım is equal to I work which comes at the end uh, compared to English one personal pronoun then after verb so just remember and keep in your mind in Turkish we use all the time action verbs at the end of the sentences all the time we use action verbs at the end of sentences depends on the you know which tense it is so we use here I R I M so the last part as you see here shows the person who does this so guys, I hope it's clear for you that this example, you know, here, one, two, three, two, three, two, one. So this is quite different. Just what you should know and bear in mind. I, I'm just repeating this important. That's why just re remember in your mind. And we use action verbs in the personal pronoun at the end of sentences in Turkish. All right, let's next to next sentences. I speak English and Turkish. As you see here, uh, blue and uh, the other blue words here, these are the object pronouns, objects actually. Here, I, ben, ben, I, İngilizce, English, ve, and, Türkçe, Turkish, konuşurum, speak, speak. Ben, İngilizce, ve, Türkçe, konuşurum. As you see here in this example, we put the action verb at the end of sentence. You see, in Turkish, it works all the time like this. But as you see here in English, we just put this action verb after subject pronoun or personal pronoun, as you say, whatever you say. So this is like this. 
for example, I love you. I love you. See, Sini. So I put here in parentheses. This is not so necessary, but if you want, you can use. That's not a big deal. Ban Sini Seviorum. Ban Sini Seviorum. As you see, the action verb comes at the end, which describes the person who does this. Um shows I. That means ban. Okay, guys. I love. I love means seviorum, as you see in in rat, which is equal to seviorum. But we don't know who do you like, but we put here you, so that means se ni, se ni. Okay, so ban se ni seviorum. All right, all right. Now let's get, see next sentences examples. Actually, I will. I will. It's the future form. Edijim, look at this here. Edijim. Okay, so there's a verb help. I will help. Yardum edijim. Yardum edijim. I will help. Who will you help? You. You. But in what way? Learn Turkish. That's why the form we use here is different. So let's start. Ban sinin Türkçe öğrenmene. Because here the verb here help you learn because help you do something what will he do i will help you learn that's why i put here öğren mene okay guys learn means öğren make in turkish but what will he help me learn with turkish so i put here turkish sinin türkçe öğren mene yardım edeceğim ben senin türkçe öğren mene yardım edeceğim as you see here, blue part is here a little bit darker than the other one. Sinin means here you. Okay, so will is a regime which is future form, but who will do this? I am here as you see im. So the regime means I will blah blah blah. So yardım means help. Okay, guys. So ban sinin tukçe öğrenmene yardım edeceğim. One more time. Ban Sinin Türkçe öğrenmene yardım edeceğim. One more time. Ben senin Türkçe öğrenmene yardım edeceğim. So I, finally, I will make it normal speed, which Turkish people say. Okay. Ben senin Türkçe öğrenmene yardım edeceğim. All right. Next part is there are some more examples which you see positive, negative, and question form. Okay. Let's see them. We like flowers. Who like flowers? We. So bees means we. Bees like seviorus. Bees seviorus. What do you like? Flowers. As you see here, guys, I put in just in the middle of two words. Chichekleri. We like flowers. Bees chichekleri seviorus. Guys, there are two letters as you see here. Chi. Chi which is the you know same pronunciation in check you know ch ch check or chair so we use here che che which equals to one word in turkish just to put one kind of comma just under this part of c letter in c letter here as you see comma comma which is the sound is like ch okay chi check le ri okay bis chi check Le re chichekleri se vi yo rus bis chichekleri se vi rus. Okay, I hope it's clear, guys, for you. Okay, negative form when we make, as you see in present form, we use don't, but as you see here, we just use one word me. Okay, me makes the sentence all the time negative, it doesn't matter which tense which form model form or present simple or past simples or future doesn't matter we all the time use me but of course it may change with different uh, verb forms as well so bis chichikleri sev miorus miorus sev miorus that means we don't like okay guys bis chichikleri sev miorus these objects can change all the time. It's up to you. Whichever you want, you can use it. Bees, çiçekleri, sevmiyoruz. All right. And the question form here, as you see in purple one, this word, do, as here, mu. Okay, guys. 
just to make the sentence question form so we use this suffix or tag or word whatever you say so bees chicleri seviyor muyuz look muyuz muyuz bees chicleri seviyor muyuz that means do we like do we like means seviyor muyuz what do we like flowers chicleri seviyor muyuz okay if your answer is yes then evet seviyoruz if your answer is no higher save me yours that way so guys let me repeat guys for you because the pronunciation and repeating is really important in Turkish that's why I will help you more let me repeat if you want you can repeat with me as well biz çiçekleri seviyoruz biz çiçekleri seviyoruz biz çiçekleri seviyoruz okay negative form biz çiçekleri sevmiyoruz biz çiçekleri sevmiyoruz as you see here, there is a tone of making negative form, just like in English. This is the same way. So just be careful when you make tone stress, I mean. Biz çiçekleri seviyor muyuz? Biz çiçekleri seviyor muyuz? You know, when you make question form or negative form, the sound which you coming out of your mouth is goes up or goes down. Depends on the form of itself. So, to summarize here in this part, to make negative words in Turkish is like me or ma me mu mi mu mu. Guys, do not worry about how will I use ma me mu mi mu mu. Don't worry about this because you will learn this in time by you know practicing. The, these these you know suffixes or tags comes at the end of verbs. Okay, depends on the verb uh, vowels. This these forms all the time change depends on the verb or vowels i will help you learn these verb vowels with suffixes or tags in the following lessons all right thank you very much now let's go, go to next part negative words in turkish is okay this is uh, repeating one more time but different forms ma me mu mi mu mu okay repeat ma me mu mi mu Mu. One more time. Ma, me, mu, mi, mu, mu. Okay, as you see here, don't, on the right side, you see English parts in Turkish ones on the left. So, don't, come. That means negative form and which is command. That means imperative form. So, don't come in Turkish means gel, me. The negative form here is me. Okay, me, me. So, don't means don't do it. So, me is the verb itself. Gel, me. If you don't use here don't, automatically you can use gel, which is positive. So, next part is git, me. Git, me. Okay. Bil, mi, yo, rum. Bil, mi, yo, rum. Bil, mi, rum. And here, very interesting, this is negative question, guys, is this here, because it starts with don't, don't you, because, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, don't you know, here, that means you, that's why I put here S-U-N, at the end of the word, the last three letters, S-U-N shows the person who does this, Musun, which is here, question form, that's why I put here mu mu just before the personal pronoun tax mu okay guys because why i put here mu because of the verb vowel here is your o that's why i put here u okay guys all right so bil mior there's a negative form which is me that shows the negative form and just comes after the main verb bil me bil me this shows the word that will be negative Bilmiyor, bilmiyor, bilmiyor musun, bilmiyor musun. All right, let me repeat one more time for you. Gelme, gitme, bilmiyorum, bilmiyor musun, bilmiyor musun. All right, one more time for practice. Gelme, gitme, bilmiyorum, bilmiyor musun. All right, so let's get to one dialogue here. A, B, A, B. All right. So, Türkçe biliyor musun? You, because S-U-N, you. And the question verb here, word here, M-U. 
Türkçe biliyor musun? That means do you speak Turkish, guys? Evet, biliyorum. Yes, I do. Evet, biliyorum. Yes, I do. İngilizce biliyor musun? Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Evet, biliyorum. Evet, biliyorum. If your answer is no, then you should say Hayır, bilmiyorum. Hayır, bilmiyorum. Okay, let me repeat one more time for you. No, I don't know. Means here, no, I don't know. Okay, let's repeat. Türkçe biliyor musun? Evet, biliyorum. İngilizce biliyor musun? Evet, biliyorum. Or, hayır, bilmiyorum. Or, in Turkish means veya, or you can say ya da. Okay, veya or ya da. So, there's a note here which is important. Question words or tags in yes, no, in Turkish are mu, mi, mu, mu. Okay? All right, guys, next part is summary part before I finalize my this my lesson here. Question words in yes, no, in Turkish are mu, mi, mu, mu. And negative words here is ma, me, mu, mi, mu, mu, which is very similar, actually. Just two parts is extra here used, ma, me, and mu, mi, mu, mu. And important part here is just bear in mind these suffixes which I mean negative form and question form always come after action verbs in verb forms or nouns adjectives in stative forms okay so I will give you two more examples for this verb forms stative forms what they mean so here is action form adjective form noun form adjective form and noun form is it includes or covers uh, stative forms, but action verbs is automatically action. Okay, so I'm not working today. This is an example here, which is negative because it says here not, which is equal to m. So who is not doing this? I am not. So miorum, miorum. But there's a verb working. Chalish miorum. All right, chalish miorum. Chalish miorum means I'm not working. But when? today so i put here bugün okay guys bugün çalışmıyorum as you see we use our verbs at the end of the sentence in turkish which is not as similar to in english which we use just after negative form uh, main verb so here is it sunny tomorrow or will it be sunny tomorrow so in turkish we say yarın hava güneşli mi Yarın hava güneşli mi? So here question word is me which comes at the end of the sentence because güneşli is sunny is adjective. Okay guys, so that's why I use here adjective form and noun form which we use a noun is this a Turkish meal? Bu Türk yemeği mi? Bu Türk yemeği mi? Look, as you see here I put here me which is a question word. Okay, so bu Türk yemeği mi? Is this a Turkish meal? Okay, I'm repeating one more time, guys, for you. Bugün çalışmıyorum. Bugün çalışmıyorum. Yarın hava güneşli mi? Bu Türk yemeği mi? Look, as you see here, question words is can be yes or no. Okay, guys, because this is yes, no questions. All right. So, okay, guys, I think I'm at the end of this lesson. If you, if you like this lesson, please like us and uh, subscribe to us. And you can also... Uh, watch our videos on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook. If you have any questions or which is specific you think, you can reach us or you can reach me at this email account, bilgi at Thank you guys for watching us. Hope to see you next time. Bye.